Hey guys, it's Dov here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make easy, quick, delicious spicy pork and cucumber sliders. They're a great appetizer, good for tea parties. You will enjoy it, I promise. So first we're going to start off by taking some garlic and some red Thai chili peppers here. I used about four of each. If you don't like it spicy, then you can use less chili peppers. So we're going to roast this in a preheated 350 degree oven. They're going to look like this when they come out. This is about 20-25 minutes later. Next you want to take your roasted chili peppers, throw them into a, this is called a mortar and pestle, and throw in your garlic. Of course you want to take off the peeled skin and mash it until it's a paste. It will look like this. Put that aside and we're going to use that later. Next you want to place your oil into a hot skillet. This is medium high heat. Then you want to take your pork and start to break them up with your fingers as you're placing them into your skillet. Now if you want smaller chunks, then you want to place your pork into a cutting board and give it a few rough chops before adding it into your hot skillet. So you want to cook this until it's completely browned and cooked through. Add in your ground chili and garlic mixture. Um, I didn't drain the oil this time, but I actually recommend that you drain the oil before you add in your paste, okay? So add in your salt, sugar, and this is a Korean ground chili paste. I don't know what's in it. I'm not Korean. I can't read Korean. But whatever is in it, it is good. This is about one to two tablespoons of the paste. Give it a nice little stir to add in all your ingredients until it's fully incorporated. You also want to add a few tablespoons of really good fish sauce. Give it a quick stir here. So after about a couple of minutes while you're letting that all come together, you want to add in your coconut milk. After you've added in your coconut milk, you want to give it another good stir and then you want to reduce the heat to about a medium let it simmer for a good couple of minutes, probably about 7 minutes or so. Now, I, on my blog, I use annatto seeds to pull some of that red food coloring. It's just for looks. I've actually realized that if you use like a red pepper pigment, it works. This is right here. I got it from a Korean store. It's a red pepper powder. It's not spicy at all. It's just for... The food coloring just to make it more red it looks you know more appetizing that way so give that good little stir here you can even use paprika for red food coloring if you don't have the red pepper powder so give it a good little stir after about seven minutes it'll thicken up a little bit more it's actually done at this point but um if you are cambodian you would like to use some bahok and which is like an ancho chili paste and you can add that in now if you choose to so here's what it should look like. It's really, really good. I like to eat it with an assortment of veggies like cucumbers, spinach, asparagus, whatever you like. But I'm showing you a version where it's easier, kind of Americanized, and I'm going to show you guys how to plate it. It's going to look just like this. Here's what they look like plated. Aren't they just so cute? They are totally bite-sized, great, great appetizers. I serve these at tea parties. They are always, always a hit. Um, it's definitely once you start eating them, you can't stop. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. Bye!